And this seems to be two fighters who are, you know, at least very close in level and pedigree. They are. They both have the same. They, they have a very similar style, both of them. Um, they're good boxers and they're good counter punchers. Sure, sure he did. <laughs> Let us get back at him. Well, no, we finished. We finished the conversation in, in the because uh, I pick out all the gloves shorts. for my fight. <laughs> <laughs> Good combat, Joe. Uh, by the way, uh, active Hawkins trying to get into Hitchens is tough. To, you know, change the pace of this fight. See, if he's, he's getting beat like right there. He just got beat three punches. Good punches on the inside. Um, the last three rounds, I've given it to him, and I have him ahead 39 37. the body. Nice right hand to the body from Hawkins there briefly, but you know, even to get very elemental into this, Lennox, you can see a lot of nice right hand yeah. from Hitchens. Uh, there's there's no one backing up this is going to be the move and you can t tell he's he able to get a little closer now he slaps him with a hook as well as finishing up with a combination he's starting to really get and something where he also had to learn and and get over a decent opponent and you can see final seconds round nine final round coming up here in Minneapolis on the ring really well and he hasn't been hit and it's hard to catch him. And, you, you know, he's obviously gone up against guys that have tried to corner him, and he's done a great job getting out of the cornering. All three judges in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Richardson Hitchens.